Okay, I am thinking that this is essential as far as getting out of the house. We're allowed to be out in nature, and if we're allowed to go to the liquor store, then we're allowed to forage for the juniper berries to make our gin, right? So I'm gonna be making homemade gin tonight. This is my grandma's juniper, well, it was a bush, but now it is a tree. And that's what they look like, and they give that awesome evergreen flavor. So I'm gonna snip some branches and get back Good home. Morning. It's Wednesday, and I'm thinking about making some booze. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a really quick way to infuse vodka to make a homemade gin. Um, I already foraged for my juniper berries, but you can also buy them online if you don't know of a place to source them. Um, I have some black peppercorns, some orange peel, and a bay leaf that I will add in tomorrow. So basically, I wanna give 24 hours hours of just the juniper berries because that's the main flavor that we want to come forward. So we'll give that a day and then tomorrow I will add in my orange and my pepper and my bay leaf. Um, you can look online. There's so many different options of different kind of um, ways to flavor your gin and you can have fun messing around with it too. At Christmas I did like a spiced gin and I added some whole cloves and a cinnamon stick. I added a little snipping from our Christmas tree because the evergreen is really good. Um, so have fun with it. And here is just a really straightforward setup. So I have my vodka in a jar. It's kind of easier if you can use like a large mouth jar just because, you know, you're adding things and taking them out. But either way, and I have, um, I don't know, probably right about four tablespoons of juniper berries that I pulled from our little clippings. So I'm gonna pour that right in, and then I will cover it with my lid, and tomorrow I will add in the rest. All right, easy as pie. Hey everyone, so our gin is ready and I'm excited to try it in a cocktail tonight. Um, you'll notice that it changes a really pretty color from the orange and I'm just gonna strain it and it's ready to use. Yum! All right, I'm gonna strain it into this jar and it's all set. Enjoy!